Hey, we have Trent Harmon over here, everybody. Yeah, yeah. Hey, hey, hey. Let's do a little talky talk with Trent. So welcome to Boston. Thank you, man. Thank uh, you. What do you think? Let's jump right into the American Idol thing, because you came from Idol. That's right. It's coming back. What do you think of it being rebooted? You are now not the last American Idol. Yeah, that's a fact. Um, I'm happy it, it's, it's coming back, though. It probably took a lot of doing to get it, and uh, it you know, probably wouldn't be coming back if people didn't want to see it. So Very true. People want to. What do you think of the uh, new judges? It was just announced, Chris Daughtry and Katy Perry, but who do you think should be added as a judge? Um... I think it'd be cool to get a to get a hip hop artist on there somewhere. That'd be kind of cool. That would be really that, cool because they kind of covered the spectrum there. Or I see Daughtry in Nashville enough. I think he might be doing country now. I don't know. Right? So Who he could he could probably good. cover the spread. Yeah. What about your uh, the switching gears? You're you're from small town, like small 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 town, right? Yes. What was it like when you got all this like you know on American Idol? You became this big thing. Now you have a huge song on country. When you go home, what is that like? Um. People respect me uh, pretty well, and they just kind of treat me the same. Um, I, I stay really engaged on my socials, and, and so I don't act any differently when I'm on Facebook Live. You know, I'm not I'm not doing different stuff, so they treat me the same, and I re that's that's kind of hard to come by. And do you kind of act the same when you go back home now? You're not like big time, and when you go home to the little town, <laughs> no, I just drive my truck. Yeah. How would you big time? You would be like, just stick out like a sore thumb and be like, wait, why is this guy back here? No, he has yeah, like an I entourage just, when he goes to the general store. I just go yeah. to, uh, we don't have a general store. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we that's we go by feed molasses at the general <laughs> store. We no, go down um, to the farm. No, I go, I go to, I go to Redbox and get a movie and grab some ice cream and it's, it's just like old times. Um, your fans, you have a, a very loyal following. Yeah, um, I do. Very. They do. Are they the harmonizers? Harmonies. Oh, harmonies. Oh, they were going to say, Fifth Harmony is going to get pretty mad about you that. You can take it now, though. They, Camila uh, Cabello left that band, so you could like now steal the harmonizers and right. the harmonies. That's right. No, the, I, the, I asked them what they want to be named. They named themselves. So the, uh, they want to be the They're harmonies. Great, How great are they to you? Do you get They're to great. They're great. I have really, really, really loyal fans. They, um, But, you know, I check in with them, like I said, every day. Yeah. I haven't taken a day off in two or three years checking in with them and so as long as you check in with them they stay there yeah. and when you don't they're not so did you realize are a lot of them from American Idol and then they voted for you obviously and now they kind of like kept with your career I don't really know um, I just know that, that they're there yeah. I, I don't care if they, they jumped on the bandwagon yesterday or if they've been there for the last five years uh, if they're retweeting and they're buying records, they're good. They're passionate, but one yeah, thing I've noticed about people. Yeah, they are yeah. definitely retweeting. They're passionate, but they're nice people. Yes. I could tell that from dealing they with the Twitter nice side people. of things. They are nice people. They're good. respectful. Yeah. And um, they are loyal to a T, which definitely. I think comes from the idle crowd. Yeah. They're very loyal. You know, They, they buy into it. a brand and they stay with it. Mm -hmm. Let's talk street party. So you got 8,000 people on the street packed into that little, you That's know. How many people live in my town? Oh, the, the, your whole town is here to see you. <laughs> yeah. That's uh, it's like hanging at the general store and like they're and I'm just kidding I'm just joking, um, but what do you think about playing Boston in front of a packed street like that? Are you excited? Beautiful day. It is. It's good weather and that helps a lot. Um, yeah, they seem really really uh, active. That's a good word. Uh, That's the beer talking. Very they're enjoying themselves. Very active. Uh, yeah, they seem to be enjoying themselves. But um, I, it, it's a joke that I always say when I'm on stage. But shows are so much better when you have a crowd show up and then that enjoy themselves. A lot of times you have 8,000 people that don't look like they're having fun. They look like they're having fun in Boston they're today. They're definitely having yeah. fun. Boston is yeah. always having fun. Please. Right. And we got uh, the beautiful weather. Well, we're, so, we're so excited to have you here with us for Street Party thank you, 2017. Hannah. Country 1025.